Contract negotiations between the Memphis Police Association and the city are now in their second week, and it appears as though they're at a stalemate. The association wants health insurance benefits restored. The mayor says the city can't afford to pay for them. Local 24's Mike Matthews talked to Police Director Mike Rawlings about his concerns. Mayor Jim Strickland says he's talked to police officers, looked them right in the eye, and says they understand where he's coming from. The question is, do they really? Understand that members of the Memphis City Council are the ones who will decide whether to restore Memphis police officers' 2014 benefits. Some say, are you kidding? Would you restore the benefits? <laughs> You've seen me. You know the answer to that. You're trying to be facetious. Ed Ford says no. Mayor Jim Strickland always points out how much of an increase in property taxes it would take to bring the benefits back. He never mentions any other ideas. Have you thought about raising the sales tax increase like half a cent? Uh, no. You're not interested in doing it? You don't want to do that? Well, first of all, we can't do it this year. It takes a public referendum. Four years ago, when Jim Strickland was a city councilman, he pushed for raising the sales tax half a cent for pre-kindergarten classes. Voters turned that idea down, something Police Association President Mike Williams doesn't think would happen if the money raised would go to bringing back the benefits. They're reserving that for something that's going to be on their agenda. They can offer it up, give the citizens the opportunity to actually vote to whether they want to put a mechanism in place uh, that's going to secure uh, their safety in this city. Memphis Police Director Mike Rawlings has been watching. The police director does not take an active role in contract negotiations. I've been around a long time, 27 years. When I came on the police department, there was an uproar about benefits and salary. And, and, you know, you see these, you know, cycles come on. And it's one of those things you have to work, work through. It's all about the benefits. That's it. They're not looking for raises. They're not looking for bonuses. They're looking for restoration of their benefits. This fight's not over. This fight's just beginning. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.